everyone, it's Danielle here for Felicity Jane and um, this is a just a quick um, sort of walkthrough of a mini album I put together uh, this week for the blog. Um, if you can hear that noise in the background, that's Clem, she's purring really loudly. <laughs> she's quite close to the uh, my phone. <laughs> so um, yeah, she might come through. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the album um, and I put this together um, using a amazing uh, tutorial video um, by uh, Scatter Confetti, um, uh, who used to be on the um, Felicity Jane team. Um, but yeah, uh, so I used her video because um, I saw this amazing uh, mini album she put together. It's totally stunning. And then saw that, yeah, she'd made this um, this amazing video that kind of explained step by step how to do it. And um, so I was like, oh, wow, I need to um, I need to try that. So, um, so yeah, so uh, thanks so much to her for... Um, putting together a video that I could totally follow <laughs> so um, even me you know I'm terrible at that kind of thing so that's why you don't see any kind of too elaborate mini albums from me some people make these crazy things with like binders and all sorts of stuff but yeah I'm not I'm not that skilled <laughs> so, um, this is way more uh, my speed <laughs> so yeah um so I put this uh, together using the um the Madison kit uh, which is the January kit totally gorgeous um and um the kind of loose theme of the Madison kit is all about kind of, um, you know, uh, positive vibes, if you like, because um, if you see the sort of stamp set, um, it's all like, you know, I can do this, you know, you're enough, learning to love me more, uh, one day at a time, you know, yes, you can, all these kinds of things that are like, you know, bring on whatever's next, like, you know, just sort of positive kind of messages and things. So um, I thought, well, I'll put together a um, an album that's kind of all kind of happy positive vibes and um if I'm having like a low moment that'll hopefully um you know I can check this out and it'll hopefully make me feel a bit more um more more perky <laughs> so um so yeah so that was the idea behind it and just kind of keeping half an eye on Clem because she's staring at my lighting rig which is worrying because <laughs> she ate through the cable of the last one so um, yeah I have to keep an eye on her um so yeah uh, what can I tell you leave that alone no um so <laughs> good nightmare <laughs> um yes so i put this rosette together to go on the front because i kind of thought it'd be quite cute to have like a kind of big rosette kind of thing um and um yeah so i went and i used some puffy stickers um from shay i think these are the more in today and then the hopeful was from lola i think um so yes it's like more hopeful today um i can't remember what kit this gorgeous ribbon uh was from um but i bought this from the store i don't think it's on there anymore which is why i can't track it down um totally gorgeous though and i kind of like the idea of the polka dots kind of working with the kind of polka dot hearts on the paper um so yes yeah, so i thought i'd stick that on there and it also serves a purpose inside as well which you'll see in a second so um yeah super cute um and oh and just to kind of mention that when i put this album together following um following the tutorial um what ended up being my front cover is actually the reverse of the um, album that, um, that, yeah, that Scattered Confetti um, did. Um, so I, I just kind of like the idea of the kind of two-tone pattern being on the front rather than lost on the back. So that's kind of why I did it the other way around. So, um, so yeah, if you do watch that video and wonder what, what's going on and why mine looks different, it's just because I've kind of flipped it. So, um, so yeah, I just like the idea of that. Yeah, these two papers. I couldn't make a decision, so I decided to go for both. <laughs> So um, here we go. Let's see if I can get you in camera. Yes. Okay. Um, so yeah, um, first page and you'll see what I mean about the paper clip. So it's holding on um, this photograph, um, which also has a little punched corner. So I've got a little home on there and uh, one of the um, stamps from the, um, the Madison stamp set, which says uh, New Year, same awesome me. So that's cute. And then if I pull this off, um, I just used one of the mini envelopes and I just got some private journaling in there so um, I kind of wanted to still have it um, be whoops, available to be sort of moved off the, the kind of photo um, so yeah so that's why it's kind of like that <laughs> um, so that's quite cute uh, you just use some baker's twine for my stash to attach that and then more little kind of shea puffies um, and then some die cuts from the um, 
uh, from the Madison kit as well. Um, so that's Madison there, the die cut and her gorgeous cardigan, which I'm obsessed with <laughs> and I will not let it go. <laughs> it's beautiful. So, um, um, so yeah, so every page basically in this album, because it's made out of envelopes, um, you sort of see that each one kind of slides into the next one. Um, so that's kind of like the flap at the top, if you like, but then that kind of moves into the next one. Um, you end up with like a, a kind of page that's got, um, no, no, um, no uh, kind of fussiness going on so just a smooth page and then you end up with a page um, that you can kind of have a pouch an envelope pouch so in each of the pouches I've put in a little kind of tag or a little something so um, so this one uh, I just used the little um, Shea um, metal die cut um, tag builder uh, um, to make a few of these tags out of the papers from the Madison kit so I've got a little um, Shea smile on there and that ribbon is just from my um, Noel um, kit, super cute. So I'm still eking that out. <laughs> oh, she's off. Um, okay, and then on the reverse, I've just got one of the sort of positive messages. Uh, so yes, you can. And um, and that's just, um, yeah, just these are the little Shea, um, not Shea, Madison um, Puffy Alphas that came in the kit. So they're kind of smaller Puffy Alpha, so super sweet and perfect for projects like this where, you know, you kind of have a little bit more um you know smaller space to work with so um it kind of works quite nice using the um whoops the um the smaller font uh ooh, ooh. there we go <laughs> i was like oh no it's not gonna work <laughs> i've already had to film this again this video once again because um the first time for some reason when i filmed like viewed it back all the colors had gone really weird on my um camera so i'm hoping that um it behaves itself this time or it's going to be a third time's a charm situation um, so this is the second page, um, which again, I use more of the Puffy Alphas just to just be calm and I kind of use like a little photo of um, just some like um, my headphones, you know, sort of being calm, listening to calm music. <laughs> and then, um, oops, let's see if I can shake these out. So I've got a little shaker pocket here um, because I made one of my um, envelopes out of vellum. Um, so uh, still used my uh, envelope punch, which has gone AWOL. I don't know where that's gone. Um, oh, there it is. Um, <laughs> so I can't find that. Um, just a like a We Are Memory Keepers um, envelope punch. But failing, if you don't have a punch board, um, you can always just use um, an, an actual envelope. You know, um, you could get if you you know Christmas has just been, so you might still have some knocking around in your house. You can just kind of like disassemble it and then um, use it as a template to kind of draw around it. I've done that before when before I had the punch. So um, yeah, it d does work fine. So um, yeah, that's a kind of plan B if you don't have a punch. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, yeah, so I just put some little bits and pieces in there. So there's some sequins, there's some asterisks from the um, Shea kit in there, um, and then a couple of these little beads, heart beads, so sort of a couple of little bits and bobs. Um, it's just cute, kind of, whoops. And then it works well on both sides because um, the Shea, um, the Shea colours are, on, are white on the reverse, but it still works fine. So it looks nice from both sides. Um, and so one of the big floral die cuts from the uh, Madison kit. So I just kind of cut it um, yeah, just off there and just kind of had it on both sides. Um, reason being is um, I you can kind of see the glue that I use to kind of um, glue this uh, onto the, other, the the next envelope. So um, I figured if I had a big die cut on it, then I could just kind of cover the, the crime. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, and then again, there's a little bit of glue here too. So I've just kind of used that bit there to kind of cover both sections. Um, and because that's quite busy, I, I haven't put anything in this pouch. Um, so instead, I've just made this little um, kind of movable tag um, by just um, this is uh, another one of the Madison die cuts. And it's only just adhered right at the very, very edges. Um, so that means you end up with um, this kind of little slidable um, kind of thing <laughs> that holds your um, holds whatever you want to put in it. I did the same thing on my um, my gratitude um journal so um and it worked quite well so um so yeah i figured i'll try it again and it, again it works quite well because it's sort of holding something in place you know um and then you get to write on the top of it as well so i've just got this good day um that's one of the die cuts of the leaf and then um always be comfy i've got on there which is cute um and just more ribbon from my um from my noel kit so because we those ribbons were just gorgeous i need to um find out where they all came from because <laughs> i need more in my life <laughs> Um, this is uh, a frame from I think Brie, um, like an old collection. 
I've still got some bits and pieces that I'm kind of using from the um, the black and white stripe sale. So um, so yes, this is really sweet. So I just thought the paper was quite busy. So I thought, well, I'll keep it simple. So it's got this little frame and a little yes, you can in there. Um, and then these are well, little tags from the die cuts. But I just kind of chop the tops off. So they kind of turn them into full little banners there with another little die cut flower that kind of replicates the flowers in the um, this paper. And let's see if this will behave and come out. Oops. Uh -oh. There we go. Um, and that's just a photo of um, a scrap I did uh, last year. It was kind of like when I was having a bit of a bad time. Um, so, um, so yeah, so I've got a little okay on here because it's like this antisocial thing. And then um, on the back, I used the stamp to just put it's okay to not be okay. So, um, so yeah, so I've just used that kind of repetition on there along with some of the um, the Madison washi, which is gorgeous. So we've got that grid, grid, and then repetition, and then it's lovely, lovely heart. And then just, um, I backed the two, um, these two little kind of tabs came in the kit. So I just kind of reversed them onto one another and stapled them. So, um, so yeah, they're kind of sandwiched there. Let's see if this will go back in. Yeah, there we go. See, seamless on the first video, it would not go back in. <laughs> so painful. Um, this one, I've just got this cute picture of my cat, Clem, where she's like touching my foot. So it's really sweet. And she does this a lot when she's like under my desk, to just sort of let me know she's there. But it's so cute because it's just like kind of, are you all right? You know, I'm here kind of thing. It's really sweet. So, um, so I've just got a little loved and then a little heart. Um, and then one of the florals from the um, die cuts from the Madison kit. And then another little tag. Um, with this kind of velvety black um, ribbon from the um, Noel kit. And then I've got, these are from Harper. Um, Harper? Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> and I've got this hashtag goals. Um, and on the back it's just got this just be you. So, um, so that's cute. So yeah, I thought that was quite uh, sweet. And love this file paper. It's totally yummy. Um, Okay, and then on here, um, we had these vellum um, pouches, pockets in the um, in the Madison kit. I had them as well in, I think, Rebecca, and they were stunning. So um, I knew I wanted to use one, but they were all quite long. So um, I just trimmed this one down at the top and then used a sort of circle punch to just create the little kind of curve back in it again. Um, and then that's worked perfectly for my kind of smaller tag, which is one of the die cuts as well. So super sweet. So I just used the stamp set again. I thought it was learning to love me more. Uh, and that's really cute, that just slides in there with this Be Happy. Um, and the Happy, I think is from Shay as well. So um, yeah, so sweet, sweet, sweet. A couple of Shay bits in this kit, but that's because that Shay kit is just stunning. Um, totally stunning. It was the first kit I had when I joined and it's just like, oh, my heart. <laughs> Can't deal with it. Um, okay, and then just got a little heart on here and then this stripey, um, stripey paper from Madison. And then, whoops, on the back, I've just got those little, um, my obsession, those, um, little Lola um, puffy essentials uh, with one day at a time. So um, so that's real cute. And that just slides in there. Oops. Uh -oh. Okay. And then, uh -oh. Is that okay. <laughs> um, and then just on the reverse, um, this is the last page. And um, I just, this is one of the journaling cards that I just cut down just sort of square and just stick on the back. So I just didn't want the kind of plain back. I wanted to kind of have something else going on. So. Um, so yeah, and then um, I just backed my um, rosette with some other paper that kind of match this paper too, so it kind of all coordinates nicely. And there we go. So um, yeah, that's my little mini album for you. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully this time the uh, the camera's worked and this one will actually go up on my um, on my channel. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, any questions about anything at all, you can um, pop a um, a comment below. Um, and I'll um, I'll add the link to um, the video as well that I used the tutorial and um, so you can kind of take a look as well. And there is another one that was also quite good. Um, I think it was Be Valiant um, had put one up as well. Um, but I did I did use the um, the, the scatter confetti one. So um, so yeah, I'll link that one. But I, I have seen some other um, sort of mini envelope albums. I've seen a few different ones where um, instead of having it like a book. Um, People had it almost like a uh, what do they call it accordion sort of style so it's like you know boop, 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 that way around so um, there's a few different ways you can do them um but this is just the one that i chose because i really like the look of it and um yeah so um that's it really um so that's all from me i'll pop off now and um i'll be back again soon with another uh, video and another um another post for um felicity jane <laughs> okay guys until then uh, lots of love and take care and um yeah i'll see you again soon <laughs> okay guys Bye. <laughs>